Hello and welcome back to Thoroughfare's West Yorkshire Transit News. In this video we'll talk about the major transit developments in West Yorkshire from December, November and October. From cutbacks to construction and demolition, quite a lot's happened over the last couple of months, but before that, the main reason this segment hasn't been going out each month is because I've started uni, and generally not much has really been happening in West Yorkshire, but let's get into it. Our main story today is how transit schemes are set to be paused across the board in a bid to try to address inflationary issues across the entire region's transit schemes, with many due to external factors having their costs spiral. The Combined Authority has identified about 40 schemes that could be paused to ease budget pressures and say that paused projects would still be delivered but over the longer term and that alternative funding would also need to be found. A spokesperson from the Authority has said that record levels of inflation combined with the knock-on effects of Brexit, the pandemic and the war in Ukraine are having a significant impact on the cost of infrastructure projects across the country. But this delay has caused concern in many areas in the region, with criticism suggesting that different projects should have been delayed or prioritised, with some suggesting that workplace parking levies may have aided in fundings for the projects. Moving on from that, in Bradford, with funding from the government's Transforming Cities Fund, a old car park is being demolished to make Bradford Interchange Busham Railway Station more accessible, whilst also creating a new pocket park. Using the funding, Bradford Council bought the car park and subsequently closed it, to assess the best way to demolish it and strip anything of value that could be recycled, with it also being reported that demolished remains of the car park will also be used to fill a nearby pedestrian subway. Furthermore, pressure has been mounting on Network Rail to finally begin refurbishment of Keighley Railway Station, which is worth around £9 million. This is needed to bring desperately needed renovations to the historic station building. The work was first announced years ago, but Network Rail have, as of this recording, not begun work on the station, and the local MP has been in talks to try and ensure that this renovation work is begun and completed. Though, pride can be taken in connecting Leeds' £270 million investment in the transport network in the city now being complete. A major milestone for the city's transport infrastructure, which even warranted its own video from the council that I suggest you go watch if you're interested. Yet, there is growing concern about rail services across the north, including West Yorkshire, as both of the major operators, Northern and TransPennine Express, have been facing delays and cancellations, often leaving passengers stranded or crammed onto one of the few trains that actually show up. Politicians from across the north have banded together to lobby the government to take measures to return, to return the railways back to some sense of normality. Though, in an ironic twist of fate, Mayor of West Yorkshire, Tracy Brabin, was delayed due to a cancellation on her way to talk with the Transport Secretary about the issue. And our last story today is that of the 840 coastline service that runs from Leeds to Whitby. It is currently under review by Transdev Blaisfield, who owns the Coastline a Bus Company. The route, voted as one of the most scenic in the country, is facing challenges over its future, with one source suggesting that the route would only continue if local government subsidy continues and fares could be increased by 12%. Anyways, those are the main stories around transit from the region, and as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. And all the references to the wider stories are in the description below. Goodbye.